Mateo, capítulo 14, versículo 30. Hebreos, capítulo 12, versículo 2. Enero 16. Ven a mí y descansa en mi amorosa presencia. Sabes que el día de hoy trae sus dificultades y estás pensando cómo las vas a enfrentar. El anticiparte a lo que tienes por delante te puede hacer olvidar que yo estoy contigo ahora y siempre. Volver sobre tus tribulaciones hace que las vuelvas a vivir muchas veces. En cambio, es mejor... My daily things that I do. <laughs> Basically. So guys, while I am taking my supplements, y'all know I have a hard time swallowing capsules. So I use the chocolate almond milk with all my herbs, all of my herbs and all of my things that get me going. So hello, if this is your first time to the broadcast, my name is K I M and S A V Kim out of Savannah, Georgia. And um when I am usually taking my herbs and my chocolate, and my leche de chocolate. What I like to do is listen to um, Jesus calling in Spanish. Why? Because I have to practice my Spanish anyway. And because when I hear something in another language, it makes me think harder about it. it so I process it totally different than in English. In English, we have a tendency to listen to stuff really, really quickly. Or to, hey, Kevin, or to multitask. So when I listen to it in Spanish, It soaks in like on a different level. Plus her voice is muy relajante, right? Very relaxing, right? Pasarlas de una vez cuando ocurren. No aumentes tus sufrimientos. Mejor, ven a mí y descansa en mi paz. Yo te fortaleceré y prepararé para este día transformando tus temores en seguridad. Mateo, capítulo 11, versículos 28 al 30. Josué, capítulo 1, versículos 5 y 9. Enero 17. Okay, so anyway. Ven a... What do I mean? I titled this on Facebook. I will finish that up later. Sometimes I will listen to that all day. And you know what's so surprising? When I listen to that, I get more accomplished in a day. Are there certain things that you do that you find that help your day to give you like more hours? For some people, it's to-do lists. For some people, it is exercising, getting up early, whatever the case may be. But no matter what time I get up, if I listen to... um. Jesus de Jama, Jesus Calling. Um, even while I'm just brushing my teeth or doing certain things, and I focus, you know, and focal, yo, if I focus on the words that are being said, it just, it, for some reason, it slows down time and gives me more to do. So I titled this on Facebook and on YouTube, um, probably, um, you're working too hard. The problem is you're working too hard. Guys, every single day I have people that come to me with different problems. It could be financial. It could be time-wise. It could be familial. It could be whatever. And a lot of times what is going on is people are doing things outside of their control and they're working too hard in the physical, not taking enough time to slow down so that they can do things in the spiritual. And this is a very hard lesson because society nowadays champions multi multitasking. I have come to the point of despising multitasking. You know why? Because the more success books I read, the more I find out like really there is multitasking is an oxymoron, you know? It, it, it doesn't make sense, y'all. You're giving divided attention to all of these two, three, four things that you're doing at the same time. And some people are like, well, I could I could have my clothes wash them while I'm doing the dishes. Yeah, but you're not washing the clothes. So you're not multitasking. The, the washing machine is washing the clothes. You're not. Well, at the time that you put the clothes in, you can only put the clothes in, right? You can't put the clothes in and wash dishes at the same time. So the concept of multitasking has been misused, it's been uh, uh, abused, and it's definitely been overused. People now talk like multitasking, like it's something to celebrate. I'm a great multitasker. That, that usually means you're not a great finisher. That's what I've come to realize from me trying to multitask with certain things and from dealing with 
spurting multitaskers. And it's like they're working so, so hard. And you know what the irony of working hard is? A lot of times the people that are working really, really hard, they don't get a whole lot done. When I was working, or they're working hard backwards, which is the worst of them all. When I used to work really, really hard at stuff like, oh, I got to do this. Oh, I got to do that. Here, there, and everywhere, guys. What will happen was oftentimes I would go to work, work my 40 plus hours, and then I would come home, and then I would be like, okay, now I got to do the dishes. Now I got to do this. Now I got to do that. And I would, maybe I didn't pay attention to a bill, or I didn't see a notification, and now I'm paying a late fee or an insufficient funds fee. Because I was not, hey, what's going on, Tanya Crab? I was not on top of the stuff that I should have been on top of. And had I just slowed, guys, slow down and speed up. Had I just slowed down and said, okay, I need to devote this amount of time for this or this amount of time for that. And, and done things to lengthen your hours. Like the people that exercise, I know why they feel like they, their days are longer. It's not that their days really are, of course, right? They feel like they they feel like their days are longer because when they exercise, it gives them more energy. So when you have more energy, you require less time to do the same exact thing as somebody who is exhausted. Because when you, what am I putting in my water? It's not water, it's chocolate almond milk. And I'm putting all my supplements, all my herbs, Gano, Chaga, NRG, even the Pro-Z, um, Pro and Prebiotic. Um, I don't have any HSM, any hair, skin, nails right now with screen biotin, but I've already taken my blossomy and because I have a problem swallowing capsules, this is how I take mine. So, um, but guys, you got to slow down to speed up. I know a whole bunch of people that are super duper busy being broke. How do you let that happen? And especially in the South. Oh my gosh. Down here, in the, I'm in Savannah, Georgia, for those of you who do not know. Down here in Savannah, Georgia, people love to be on the board of this and the board of that. And I'm chairman and I'm such and such and I'm part of this club. And oh, I, I founded this organization. And half the time, you got to watch those people because they'll find an organ, they will find, uh, you know, do create an organization and say, this is for the kids. And they'll be asking you to donate something that they're not even donating to. I, I never understood that. Whenever I ask somebody to do something, it is I'm going to have meat in that game that I'm asking you to play along with me. I'm not asking you to play something that I'm orchestrating or, or I don't have to hide behind anything because I'm not stepping up in the same way that I want you to step up. But people do these types of things. So busy. That's why nowadays when I meet people and they have, and I used to be impressed by that stuff. Oh, it's so and so. You know what she does. You know what he does. And all these titles and all these accolades. But the older I got and the wiser I got, I came to see that a lot of times people do that stuff not because they genuinely want to do it, not because they're really all that, but really it's a way for them to fill a void in their life from other areas where they're lacking. So all these people that say they do all these things, that's cool. But the, the people I've met in life that are doing the greatest things, usually they don't have to sing their own praises. Usually they don't have to tell you about it. You know why? Because their work truly speaks for themselves. Moultrie Georgia in the house. What's up, Jay, baby? Their work truly speaks for themselves. So they don't have to go around telling you everything that they do. So for me right now, like in my business, and I, I've worked hard in my business. Going out there in the, in, the, in the cold aisles of Walmart, <laughs> in the mean streets of Stone Mountain in Lithonia, trying to meet people. I've done those things and I'm glad I did those things because it makes for a great story for my team right now. However, in this season of my business, what I'm realizing is that I need to slow down to speed up. I need to do more things like what the millionaires do. Okay, what David Imonitier talks about in Conceive, Believe, and Achieve. Hey, back talk. What's going on, girly? What David Imonitier talked, this man, his story is amazing. Um, when I told y'all I was listening to um, Sell It Like Sirhan, right? That's an awesome audio book. Mm -hmm. I bought that yesterday, and I've already listened to like half the book just while I'm doing, while I was doing my 30-33 exercises and things of that nature. I'm doing more things on the spiritual realm. I'm doing more things where I am communicating with the power that is within me. There's a saying, if it is to be, it's up to me. That's true to a certain extent, but are you tapping into the full power that you have access to? Half the time, you're not. Okay, I'm a spiritual helper at Ghana. Um, 
who help in all kinds of problems, money problems. Um, don't do that on my post. Don't do that on my post. Um, okay, you'll be blocked afterwards. So anyway, guys, you have to communicate in the um, spiritual realm twice as much as in the physical. And when you do that, what you're going to find is your results are going to come so much better. I started, and I'm not saying I do this every single day, but I posted this yesterday. Mis affirmaciones de dinero, right? My money affirmations. A lot of times people, and it's so funny because when people start the joke business, you might ask them, hey, how much money do you want to make? A lot of times people don't even know. You have to give them help. You have to make suggestions for them. Um, okay, the majority of people are annoyed by, it used to be their daycare costs, but now a lot of people are watching the kids. So it can be their rent. It can be their car note and, and car insurance. Those are the, hey, what's going on, Ralph Grant? Greetings, beloved. Those are the most common issues like rent, daycare, um, car note, car insurance, things of that nature. Maybe school tuition, right? But a lot of times people will join the business and they have no clue how much they want to make. Well, how can you hit a goal if you don't know what the goal is? So we have to first come up with a goal. So when I ask people, how much money do you want to make? I'm, I'm seriously like, you can give me your short-term realistic goal. But also give me your long-term fantasy goal, if you like. I want both. But let, but at least have some kind of goal, right? And so with my d money affirmations, I'm writing them down daily. And I was wondering to myself, why do I not do this? Y'all know, and you have to write them, not type them, okay? You have to write them, not type them. There is something that happens with handwriting. There are handwriting experts that talk about how just the way you curve your Y or the way you cross your T or you dot your I, there's something that happens when you write in your own manuscript your hopes, your dreams, and your desires. It solidifies it in your mind. It concretes it in your brain. It is like, you know, uh, what, what do they have? Um... What Moses was like, he had to he had to carve stuff out on the tablets, right? And we just have to take a paper to pen. And when you write things down, this is why some people do to-do lists. They have to see it. It helps you to write it. A lot of times when you write, what do you do when you write? You speak in your own mind. But what if you speak out, outside, externally, verbally? Estoy tan feliz y agradecida ahora que gano cinco mil en ingresos residuales cada semana de mi negocio TLC. I'm so happy and grateful now, now, now that. Ahora que, ahora que, ahora que. And you write that like over and over. Yeah, they're chiseling it. Hey, what's up, Raina? What's going on, girly? But I am so happy and grateful now. It's for that feliz y agradecida. Ahora que. And you write that over and over again. And you know what happens? The first few times that you write it, you're like, Mm, this isn't really doing anything. And then doing it daily, getting to the end of that page. When, you, you, when you're writing it and you're saying it in your head, oh my gosh. And if you really want to catapult your results, you're saying it out loud. Estoy tan feliz y agradecida. Ahora que gano cinco mil en ingresos residuales cada semana. Each week, they mean negocio TLC in my TLC business. When you spend time doing things like that, Instead of worrying about, oh, why this person ain't selling? Why this person didn't join? They said they would join. Why this person didn't buy? They said they would buy. Let me call them again and see if I can get them to do No. No, 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 no. Tap into the power. All you can do is all you can do. But are you doing everything that you can? And if you're only working in the physical, then you do not get it. My, when I, well, I started writing these three days ago, I had somebody join my business last night. She came ready to buy 10 products. <laughs> I'm going to talk about her later. That wasn't somebody that I've been communicating for a long time with. I haven't been following up with her for days and months. No, just out of the blue, texting me. Hey, Kel, this is seeing your videos. I'm ready to go. Can you help me get started? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, I can help you get started. When you start learning how to communicate in the spiritual, when you start listening to the voice of God, whether it's in English or Spanish, but like I said, I love the Spanish. It just, I will sit at this table. I will look through these, through these windows and I will look at the sun and some people, and I used to say things like, I don't have time to do that. No, you got to make time to do that. You got to make, it will expand your time because you know what? When you do that, right? When you listen 
to Hesute Jama. When you listen to whatever floats your boat, when you listen to whatever calms you down, when you slow, when you slow that brain down, now you can think more clearly. Every single day I deal with people who ask me questions and the answer is right before their very eyes. But they're so busy, they can't even see it. And when I give them the answer or I, or I lead them to the answer, I'm, I really like to lead people to the answer instead of giving them the answer. And when I do that, then they say, I knew that. And I say, I know you did. But you got to slow down. You got to write your affirmations. You got to emotionalize your desires. You don't understand the power that is within you. When you really have, when you have your heart, as you clean your heart, you clean your thoughts. And when you get yourself set on what that goal is, come hell or come up, whatever, whatever comes your way. You know that you know that you know that you're going to get this thing because you said so. And you understand the power that is within you, man. That changes the game. That changes the game. I didn't have to work for that new recruit. The orders that I got yesterday came in repeat orders. Clients that are staying consistent on their better body journey as well as new orders. That stuff was not stuff that I was like pounding the pavement for. I don't work nearly as hard as I do now <laughs> than I did a long time ago. I definitely don't work as hard in MLM as I did in corporate, right? But at the same time, I'm not doing the things now that I, I, I did. Then. Back then, it, I had this, this idea that it was all on me. When I saw these numbers that I had to hit for rank, I was like, oh, how am I, how am I going to get 5,000, 10,000 points? Now I know it's not all on me. And it's not even all on my team. There's a certain power inside of each one of us. And when we tap into it, we can explode our results. But you got to do this mental work. And it, it, it baffles me that I chose for years to do the physical work over the mental work. Now, I do not have a problem writing down my goals. I do not have a problem setting my butt down and reading from the people that can give me the blueprint to get the things that I want. I do not have a problem, thanks to 3033 Challenge and all of my accountability pro partners, but I do not have a problem committing to exercise so that my body has the energy, the stamina to, in to run this endurance race that is success. Success is a race to endurance. It's an endurance race, man. I do not have a problem now on a daily basis listening to this. Listen to the sweet sounds. And if y'all knew it, you can get Jesus calling in, in Spanish. And if you don't believe in Jesus, then you can get whatever you get. But still tap into the power within you. Because it's going to catapult your... It's like... It's unexplainable. You can't, It's unexplicable. You can't... You can't... I can't quantify it in words. Some people call it quantum leaping. Other people call it other things, working in the third dimension, the spiritual realm, whatever. Look, I say, right? Just know that there, that when you say it, it's up, if it is to be, it's up to me. There are two versions of you. There's the physical man and there's the spirit man. And if you're only working with the physical man, you don't get it. I'm going to try to me con un corazón agradecido. Y así podrás gozarte en mi presencia. And, and so you can enjoy este es el día que yo hice. Quiero que te alegres hoy sin preocuparte por el mañana. I want you to be happy today. Busca I'm todo lo que tengo tomorrow. especialmente preparado para ti, anticipando bendiciones abundantes y aceptando los problemas cuando se presenten. Si te mantienes comunicado conmigo, yo puedo hacer milagros en el día más fastidioso. Ven a mí con todas tus necesidades, sabiendo que mis gloriosas riquezas son las mejores provisiones. Mantente en continua comunicación conmigo para que puedas vivir por sobre las circunstancias aunque te encuentres en medio de ellas. This whole book is about staying in communication with him and how he will give you clarity. And it really is the truth 
for me. That is just my belief because some things that some of the hell that I've been through, I'm like, there is no reason for this. But the more I maintain, mantente comunicación conmigo, ma maintain your self-communication with me, the more I maintain communication with him, the clarity comes that, yeah, there was a reason for this. There was a reason for that person to do me wrong. They had to go. And the only reason, the only way that I could let them go is for them to be so cruel, so vicious to me. Because otherwise, if they hadn't been that trifling, <laughs> I would have still been holding on to that relationship. I would have still been holding on to those memories. I would have still been holding on and, and, and putting the, the past experiences, the past good experience with that person ahead of the current present hell that they're giving me. Right. So sometimes people have to do you dirty. Don't lament those circumstances. Know that it's for a reason. And when you have clarity. Because you're not just relying on your own understanding, right? When you have clarity, now you, you can better decipher why you're going through those things. And you don't stay stuck. Don't stay stuck in the mess. Some of y'all cannot go forward to success because you're still stuck in the mess. It's a prison with invisible bars. And it, you, you talk about stuff going on for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Some of y'all can't wait to die because you live in hell on earth. Been there. Done that. But you got to listen. You got to listen to people that have overcome. You got to listen to the, what the word of God not just says to you, but says about you. You got to apply. You got to apply this crap. <laughs> you got to. You got to sit your butt down and write things. You know, I timed myself because I said, Kim, why haven't you been doing this every single day of your life? You know how long it takes me to write this page? Even in Espanol, 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes. Girl, you don't have less than 10 minutes to write your affirmaciones de dinero? Then you really don't want the money. You got to listen to these things. You got to sit in, 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 in quiet. Sometimes your solutions are found in solitude. I sit in quiet. My family sometimes makes fun of me because y'all wouldn't believe how much I like to keep to myself. They'd be like, Kim, we going to, you want to come? No, I'm good. See y'all later. <laughs> I'm good. I'll be right here. I'll be right here. Why? Because I need time to process. I have not just my burdens. I have the burdens of my son. I have the burdens of my team. I have the burdens of people that I care about. If I care about you, I, I'm going to ride hard harder for you. I want to beat up anybody who messes with you. And that's not the Christian way. And I can't even fight like that. <laughs> but if I care about you, I'm going to have a problem with anybody who has a problem with you. And that's not good, right? So I have to sit my butt down <laughs> and really be talking to God hard, like clean my heart, clean my thoughts. Because I want to hurt this person who is hurting the person that I love. Kim, I appreciate your lives. I'm at work on break. I try to catch you y'all as much as I can. Aw, thank you so much. I appreciate you taking the time to say that. And work break, man, that's sacred time, man. That's sacred time, work break. People do a lot of things on work break. They buy, they buy stuff on Amazon. Um, You know, um. But this ain't you. For some people, this is the only time they can talk to the person that they're cheating with, to their mistress. You know, that's sacred time for some people. That's time for them to do all their dirt. Time for them to do all the stuff. So the fact that you spend your work break with me. Because you could be doing anything. You could be wilding straight out. <laughs> them work breaks. <laughs> but no, y'all, do y'all get it? I really do want, and I'm not going to lie, the old me, I used to think of everything as a pie. So I was like, oh, okay, there's only this much money. So if somebody is making a lot of money, that means there's no money left for me. Ugh. Everybody that used to win stuff, that used to get stuff, I used to be jealous of them. I used to be so jealous of people, not outwardly, just in my head, just like, why couldn't that be me? <laughs> But 
we can't think of things in ter terms of a pie, y'all. There's more than enough to go, to go around. There's so much abundance all around us. And the more I shifted my mindset, and it took years. It No, I can't say took, because took is past. That means it's done. No, it is taking. See? It is I'm, I'm still in my process. My process is still in progress. It is taking years to change some bad habits I had. Like being just like straight up jealous of people. Not that I necessarily didn't want them to have it. It's not that. It's just that in my mind, if they had it, I couldn't have it too. That was a mutually exclusive concept for me. Um, you're so blessed, Miss Q. Miss Q, I'm so proud of you. You could have been long gone. You don't even understand what you're doing, Miss Q. You, you don't even have an, a concept of how good you really are. Just to still be standing. When people bump heads with me or they have any type of adversity, they're quick to quit. You're asking better quality questions. You're, you're the, when you speak now, Miss Q, we're, we're having fewer conversations about what you can't do and how you can get things done. You're asking me more questions about how, Kim, where is this? What is this you speak of? How can I? It's less of the stuff. You're, you're, not, you're, not, you're not just focusing on the minutia. You're starting to see the big picture. You're plugging into the right people, J-Baby. I know you talk to Jay, baby. Jay, baby, talk to everybody. I don't know how she does it, but she does it. And I'm so thankful for, to have her on the team. <laughs> oh, yes, Jay, baby said, why am I not winning anything? Yes, I have people on my team. They, they got the magic touch like Jay, baby. Me, not so much. <laughs> but I did win the, the Aruba trip. You know, so it, it's also a matter of focus, y'all. When you are in communication with God, or at least for me, when I'm in communication with God, when I slow down to talk to my son, when I slow down to talk to my mom, when I slow down to talk to my grandmother, even though I don't always agree with them, it just gives me, it shifts my perspective. It gives me, even when I slow down to talk to people that I don't even like. Y'all know that? People that I do not like, I now want to talk to them to a certain extent. Because I want to know what is going on in that crazy brain of yours. <laughs> that really makes you think that you are right when you damn wrong <laughs> I read books that are written by people who have some views that I don't necessarily agree with 100% why because I want to know what is that perspective that makes you think this way it's kind of like studying your enemy although I don't view people as enemies now that's another thing you got to watch how you frame people the titles that you give to people I try not to say things about my haters or my enemies. There are just people out there who don't vibe with me. Instead of saying haters, there are people who don't vibe with me. That's perfectly good. That's perfectly cool. I don't vibe with everybody, y'all. That doesn't make me not a Christian. That just makes me a person with common sense. More than 7 billion people in the world. You think you're going to vibe with everybody? I just don't vibe with everybody. And that's fine. But I don't want to take on the moniker of my hater that instantly see there are certain words that we say that instantly create tension so that you can never come together there are some people who i thought didn't like me really they just quiet <laughs> they just quiet people you know and quiet people sometimes make me nervous i watch a lot of snapped so you know you know how them quiet ones be on snap they be like and then one day they'd be like, ah, ah, ah. and you'd be like, whoa, gotta watch the quiet ones. So sometimes when I get around quiet, but there are some quiet people that are just quiet. They're not quiet and crazy. They're just quiet. But quiet people still make me nervous. <laughs> Which is funny because if I'm not on live, some people do know I can tend to be quiet. Dun, dun, dun. No, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. Um, hey, Angela, Kim, you are an inspiration to me. I truly thank God for me. Girly, you too. Tania, I meant to respond to your um, text too. I'm so happy. Again, you're another one, teachable and coachable. I'm so happy that you listened to the interview with the young lady that I told you to listen to. And I'm so happy it made sense to you. And it kind of recalibrated you. because and, I'm, and I was so, so happy to see you and the hubby hula hoop and I'm like this is what she should be doing you know those are the things that you should be doing you got to enjoy the process the minute you don't enjoy the journey 
you're not patient in the process, oh man, your quitting clock just accelerated. <laughs> so again, we got to slow down to speed up. It's not a race. It's not a race. Um, yes, she is. And you are a blessing to me as well. Continue to be you. I appreciate you for saying that. I really do, Miss Q. Yeah. Life and death is the power of time. Tania, I finally um downloaded the app. And this is what's so amazing, y'all. Um, yeah, J Baby said I just love to talk to people. And girl, I appreciate you. I'm I'm sure <laughs> and I'm not and I'm not gonna lie, you're a great leader. I'm sure there are some people on the team that's like, dang, I wish I joined with J Baby. Maybe so, but you're stuck with me. <laughs> the 72 hours is up, you're stuck with me. <laughs> and and I and no lie, I'm not intimidated by that. I think there are some people that would have preferred to join with you. The thing is, Jay baby you're not as present right now as I am. And that's the thing that I'm trying to get all of you to understand. So everybody who is on my team, when I say things, I'm not just saying it to harass you. <laughs> Here go Kim again. I'm tired of this help him out. I know, but that's not going to stop me from talking. <laughs> But when I say things, it is really because I have a much larger vision for y'all. And it, it, it's, a, it's a part of TLC, but it's bigger than TLC too. I want y'all to really create influence income outside of me, outside of better bodybuilders, outside of even TLC. That means if all else stops, you're still able to create income, residual income. And one of the best things you can do is learn how to build your influence. It's great to piggyback off of my influence and Carrie's influence and TLC's great results. But if you build your influence, y'all do not understand how much my Amazon affiliate commissions have grown. I just monetized my YouTube channel and I was going to, um, for the directors in the director's lounge. Oh, baby. Those of y'all that are cutting videos, I got something for you, Booski. I got something for you, Booski. As if I need another course. But y'all know I'm constantly into personal development. So I've, there's this course I have my eye on by this girl who's done amazing things. And I'm going to get the course and I'm going to go through it with the directors. That'll be a director's um, treat because y'all will be able to handle that level. And I'll pay for the course and y'all can go through it. You know why? Because I want y'all to build y'all's influence. I want it to be that when y'all talk about these awesome and amazing products and y'all say, oh, this product is awesome, but I also exercise, and I, I, this is the waist trainer that I use. And somebody asked me for the links for my to my vibration machine today. They're gonna go buy that vibration machine. I'm gonna get a cut from Amazon, y'all. This world that we live in today, the pandemic, all these things that are going, don't get sucked into that mess. There are people, and you need to read books about millionaires. Right? Just just a catalog. Okay, we got to go because Live with Jack and John is starting. So let me wrap this up. But there's a catalog of just like tons. Rockefeller, all them people. A lot of people make the most money of their lives in times of recession. When everybody else is retreating and they're scared to invest. And they're like, why are you making no money? You know we're going through a recession. There are some people that are making the most money during these periods. Why not you? All right, so anyway. You definitely have helped me in personal development. Awesome. So, y'all, I'm so glad to hear that, Tania. Listen, read your Jesus calling if you believe in Jesus. If you don't, read whatever you read. But learn this. All you can do is all you can do. Yes. But are you really doing everything that you can do? No. For the majority of you, that's just what it is. And stop saying things like, I'm doing my best. Sometimes your best is not good enough. And if your best is not making the cut, and you can know that because you can look around and you can look at the people around you and see if they're mad, they're giving you the side eye because you're not spending no time with them. Or you can look at your bank account and if it's negative or if it's a number that you don't like, you can see that your best is not good enough. If your best is not good enough, it is time to level up, doggone it. And a way that you can do that is by stop, stop working so hard in the physical and slow down to speed up. Start learning how to tap into the spiritual, not just the physical. Start learning how to quantum leap. Start learning how to work in the third dimension. Start learning, start learning how to not only work with your hands, but to work with your heart and the Holy Spirit that is within you. So let's go to live with Jack and John. And I promise, 
whoever wins, I'm going to be happy for them. I promise. All right, bye. <laughs>